upside. But there's a downside. First and foremost, we want to make sure that there's no environmental damage. And to that end, we've hired over 110 new inspectors to inspect the groundwater process, the fracking. And then secondly, we want to make sure that the things that happened on Friday don't occur, because that explosion could have caused a significant death and injury to people who were very lucky it didn't. And uh, uh, the DEP official secretary hangar met with the company this morning, uh, and we're trying to work out an agreement. Uh, we'll have an announcement later today. Trying to work out an agreement with the company will cease operations pending the investigation. Do you feel the company responded well to the law accident? Yeah, I think in terms of uh, the, the immediate the, the immediate problem that occurred after the accident, yes. Uh, we were going to find out why it happened, the were the necessary precautions taken, why the blowout preventer didn't work. Uh, those are questions we're going to find out, and we're not only going to rely on our own technicians and engineers, we're going to hire outside experts to help us find out if the company did all they should, and if there are steps that we can take or new regulations we need to write. And does this give you more power when it comes to getting the severance tax? You think that? No, I think <laughs> we're going to get the severance tax anyway, but, but clearly we need a severance tax. We're the only major share tax that doesn't have one, and time is coming. Governor, can I have one picture? Sure.